Okay, we are gonna go ahead and do the last four verbs that we have learned with our um, word for I. So again, that is na. So in order to say I read, I would say na parikre. I speak, na pesre. I walk, na narakre. I sleep, na tungire. Tungire. Um, as you can see, I am not an expert at all of these. Um, but the kirin or girin or just the rain part is going to be um, really important for you to understand certain sentences as you um, are learning to read or listening to speakers. You're going to hear that irin and you're going to know, oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> because people don't always say I, just like I don't always say I whenever I'm using English. Um, I've learned that in Tamil people especially tend to drop the subjects a lot more um, than maybe we do in English, um, and not just with Canadians. So, we have learned he, she, you, whenever we're giving command, and I. Now we will learn how to do you um, whenever you're not saying commands, whenever you're saying just you in present tense, so like you do this, you do that, so you go, you come, etc.